Hi, this is Mr. Yeager for Physics. Um, I'm looking just to do a couple problems to kind of make sure that we know how to draw out correct free body diagrams, as well as look at maybe one or two quick uh, third law problems so we can make sure we can do those types of problems in our homework. All right. So I'm going to do just a few from this particular. This is in your uh, homework number one, the huge packet of uh, force concepts. Farther down is where you need to do your homework some, uh, for me. Um, but for this, we got, let's just go through a few of these and say, okay, what do we need to do with free body diagrams? So at the beginning here, number one, a book is at rest on a tabletop, diagram the forces acting on the book. Okay? And so we have this little dot right here, okay? And we need to draw any forces acting on it. Well, what forces would be acting on this dot? Well, it's on Earth, so we got weight, oops, gotta need a color that works. Weight going down, I label that W always the force coming from the object in the direction that it's being felt. So weight going down, normal going up, and that's it. That is your answer. That is the free body diagram for that particular object. Okay. If we go number two, this girl is uh, hanging from a rope, from uh, holding onto a rope from the ceiling. What force would we be acting on her? And she's holding still. That would be tension up and weight down. Right? We would just switch it from normal to tension because it's off of a rope. An egg is free falling from a nest in a tree. All right, neglect air resistance. What would be acting on this egg? Well, it's going to fall. Why is it going to fall? Because it has weight acting on it in a downward direction. Is there anything pushing up? No. It says no air resistance. An egg is falling, number four. But now we're going to include air resistance. Do not neglect air resistance. What would be acting on it? We would have weight down and air resistance going up. Air resistance going up. I would just say F of air. You can say force of friction too. That works fine. All right. Let's move a little bit farther. The right word force is applied to a book in order to move it across the desk with the right word acceleration. Consider frictional force. Neglect air resistance. Diagram the forces. All right. So this object is moving to the right. I'm going to draw the velocity vector, but that's not part of the, of the free body diagram. Never include this. That's not a force. All right. But why do I write that? I want to know which way is it being pushed in this particular direction. Okay. So it would be a rightward force applied. It says there is a force applied. So F of A, force applied. There's friction parallel to the surface, pushing back, weight down, normal up. There's your four forces, again, on a surface. All right. I'm going to skip six. Uh, I'm not worried about seven either. Let's go ahead and move on down a little bit. All right, let's go to number nine. The car is parked on a sloped street. All right. So what forces would be acting on this car? Again, weight, but which way? Straight down. Straight down. Not down the hill. Straight down. Okay, so that would be the weight. Normal force pushing off the surface, perpendicular from the surface, normal going up. The thing is, if it wasn't parked, this car would definitely roll down this hill, but it's not. It's that it's at rest. So what's holding this car in place? That must be a frictional force pointing up the inclined plane because the car wants to go down the inclined plane. All right. So there's a couple quick examples of free body diagrams. Now. Let's go over a quick example of a third law problem. All right. I said I was going to use this before. All right. So, wait just a second here. All right. So back in the problem here, let's say I, I talked about how the force pair of your weight, you are standing on the earth. Okay. Standing on the earth. All right. And we said. Earth is pulling you down, that's what we call weight, but you must have a reaction to that. Remember, force must be in pairs, there must be force pairs, according to Newton's third law. Weight is pulling you down, but that means you are pulling with the force up. And the thing is, you must pull equal and opposite, so these two forces must be equal to each other. So what if I said, how much are you accelerating the Earth upwards? Okay. Well, let's go through a problem. Let's say you have a mass, or I have a mass of 80 kilograms. And the mass of the Earth is about 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. Very, very large, obviously. Okay, a big, big mass. All right. So, 
We could say, let's figure out the force that the Earth is pulling down on me. Well, that's called weight, and we know weight is equal to m times g. So that would be 80 times, I'm going to use 10, that would be 800 newtons. So the Earth is pulling me down 800 newtons, which means I must be pulling back up on the Earth with a force of 800 newtons. There must be equal and opposite. But does that mean that the Earth is accelerating up at 10 meters per second squared? The answer to that is no. Definitely not. Okay? Definitely not. This is 10 meters per second squared that the Earth is accelerating you. So how fast am I accelerating the Earth? Well, I do another problem. F equals m times a. This would be the force of me on the Earth. So therefore, the force I apply is 800 newtons. That is equal to the mass of the Earth, 6 times 10 to the 24th times a. What would be the acceleration that the Earth is coming toward me? That would be 800 divided by 6 times 10 to the 24th. As I do it right now. And guess what? The acceleration of the Earth toward you is only 1.3 times 10 to the negative 22nd meters per second squared. Clearly not that much. But it's still something. All right, It is still there. This is how quickly the Earth is accelerating toward you. But again, what you have to consider is you have all these other people also pulling on the Earth. You have the planets pulling on the Earth. All right? So obviously it's not going to really go any farther than a wobble. Um, not with you, but with obviously anything else in the solar system. All right? So that's how you deal with the third law problem. The forces are equal to each other. And that's it. Thank you.